is up everybody it's cj plays here and i'm back with another sims 3 world overview and today we're going to be looking at suva diva resort now this world is like a touristy type of world and it's located on the maldives islands and it's really cool because you don't really see a whole lot of resort type of worlds in the sims 3 i know that there are a few out there but you don't really see a lot of them now this world only uses island paradise and the base game so you don't really need any other expansion packs or store content or custom content or anything like that and as you can see this world is not super super big so we should get through it fairly quickly and this world also does have some diving lots which we will check out today so let's go ahead and get into it though so i think what i want to do is let's start you know let's start over here in this section and we'll work our way around so so we're going to go over here first to the water huts all right y'all so we're down here at the water huts and i'm assuming these are just rooms that your sims can stay in or like little houses your sims can stay in so let's go ahead and scroll down let's start over here at this one because it's kind of big so this one is kind of set up as like a base camp because you have the little like adventure board thing that came with more adventures of course if you use the traveler mod you can always use this world as a vacation world so your sims can come here for a little while and go away but you have your board here for adventures you have a little place to sit it. you have your kitchen area over here you have your dining hall area or like your little kitcheny area you can come walk out on the pier if you want to and just come chill and relax if you want we'll briefly look at some of the other houses because i think a lot of them have like similar layouts kind of so we're just going to briefly look at them so in here you just have like a living room set up you have a bedroom there's also your bathroom over here and then when you come outside you have a little place where you can lounge and you have like a little it's like a little pool kind of i think that's kind of cool you don't really see stuff like that all the time though but it's like a little pool and then there's also a table under here you know so if you want to eat outside you can so i think that's really nice like a lot of these houses are really cool i think this one and this one are pretty much the same i'm going to scroll over here really quick just to see yeah so these pretty much all have the same uh, layout yeah they're pretty much all the same so if you need a little place to stay you could definitely come here so while we're already in the area let's just come over here to this lot so this is the north port so let's kind of scroll down real quick and see what's underneath this little shelter. So when you come down, there's really nothing under here, but you could always add stuff if you want to. There are some boats right here and you have like some sailboats here and you have like your speedboat over here. So I guess it's like a little port area. I guess you can like use this to get around if you want. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and check out this resort. So this is the Vele Resort. I hope I pronounced that right, but let's go ahead and check this out real quick. All right, y'all, so we're down here at this resort and it's so nice. I like that brown color. I think it looks really cool out here. Like this nice but over here you have a nice pool with a poolside bar you have two of them actually you have some places where your sims can come in recline and relax and stuff like that and you have some different rooms so let's start over here at this one and i guess we'll work our way around so let's go ahead and open this up real quick so in here you just have two bedrooms where your sims can come and just chill and relax they also have their own ensuite bathroom there's a tv dresser and you have a little desk area in here and a little place to sit by the bed as well so you can definitely have your sims come and stay here over here in this section this appears to be a little wedding chapel so you can come and have your sims get married here that would literally be so cool though to have your sims go on vacation and get married that like come on now legacy bobs i love that <laughs> over here you have your front desk area with a little sitting room area over here you have your gym area with your treadmills your weight machines your tvs over here so i think that's really cool you can even come out here and just stand and look out at the ocean and the water so i think that's really cool as well and uh let's go ahead and keep moving on so over here you also have some rooms just like you had over here so they're pretty much the same and then over here you have some food stands right here there's also a little buffet area under here, which I think is really cool because you can have your sims come over here and eat and stuff like that and just chill and hang out. There's a lot of good food on display. And then over here, you have a little something down below. So let's go ahead and just go downstairs real quick. Uh, okay, so down here, you have your rabbit hole like rooms where your sims could come down here and go to sleep if you wanted them to. There's also some bathrooms down here as well and a little place to sit down here as well but i think that's pretty cool though so i think that might be everything on this one lot so if you want to come to this resort you can there's also like some lots over here that are empty this is the one i placed elliot down at and then you have like this is empty you can build on it if you want to this one is also empty uh i think this one is as well as also empty so you can always come and build stuff and add stuff if you want there's a little area over here uh with some grills and some picnic tables so you can always come and eat a nice lunch out here if you want to there's something down below here as well but we'll check that out in a bit but if you don't know who elliot is y'all he is my toy god sim he is in all of my world overview videos he was also in my nightmare legacy challenge series if you want to watch that series i'll leave a link down below a nightmare legacy is like a normal legacy but you're playing on short lifespan so it's kind of hectic so if you want to watch that i'll just leave a link down below but all right let's go ahead and keep moving on so we're gonna go down here next to see what the heck this is so when you come all the way down oh this is like where the grocery store rabbit hole is so your sims could come down here to go to the grocery store you have a little place to sit out here maybe you want to relax afterwards so you have that if you need it all right so that's pretty cool though so we've seen pretty much everything 
over here on this side of the world let's go ahead and move to the middle of the world let's check out this uh pool so this is the calm river so let's go ahead and check this out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the calm river and it looks so nice down here like look at this y'all like you have a nice bridge that leads you over here to like a little place where you can come and lounge and relax and chill. There's even a pool over here that you can come and chill at. I think it's like the pool is like all the way around it though. So you have like a nice pool out here. You have a pool slide, a diving board. You have some more bridges over here and then they kind of lead to these rooms. So let's go ahead and just check out this room first since we're like right over here to it. So let's go ahead and scroll down. So I think we'll start on this side and then we'll go to this side. So over here you have uh, a room with two single beds in it. This one has a full size bed with a desk in it and there's also a dresser of course you have your bathroom right here and then over here in this area you have your living room slash dining area so i think that's really cool your kitchen is over here as well in the corner so that's kind of nice and then over here we have this one so i don't know if they all have the same layout or not but let's just check it out real quick yeah so this one looks very similar to the one that we just saw i think it's the exact same layout let's go ahead and check out uh let's check out like these two houses right here just to see all right so let me just kind of scroll down real quick just to see yeah so this one is also the same layout is the one beside it also the same layout yeah so so i'm guessing all the houses over here in this little area all have like the same layout let's uh scroll back this way for a second just to check these out so these are like more places where your sims can come and stay so let's check out this one right here now this one looks really cool though i like the art tray right here where you can just walk in and out if you want to you have some places to lounge out at you have a table over here with some places to come and sit over here there's even like a little pool right here on the deck so i think that's really nice but when you open it up you have your kitchen area with your stereo you have a living room area over here you have your bathroom and then you have your bedroom so it is like a one bedroom room type of house though and then we have the house next door to it we'll scroll down really quick just to see if it's anything different on the inside no pretty much the same exact layout as the one that is beside it so still pretty cool there is this pool area right here beside these houses so let me check this out real quick so down here of course you just have your pool you have some pool lounge chairs out here as well you also have some underneath this little shelter and then over here you also have the same exact thing you also have your pool ladder and then of course you're like right here on the beautiful beach so you can always just come out and chill and hang if you want to let's go ahead and check out this lot right here it's like right next door to it so over here you have plenty of places to come and sit down let me go ahead and scroll down a little bit so over here you just have a lot of places where you can come and sit down if you want to there is something down below this so let's scroll down real quick just to see oh so down here you have your bistro okay i see so you have your bistro down here if you want your sims to come and eat you know at a restaurant or something they can always come down here and chill and eat if you want to so i think that's pretty cool all right so i went ahead and i went back to map mode for a second because i wanted to see what the name of these lots were so the pool that we were just at was called gradient pool and then this resort that we're about to check out is called royal resort so let's go ahead and check out the royal resort next all right y'all so we're down here at the royal resort before we get to it actually there's like this little pond area right here that i wanted to show off i think it's kind of cool i think it's just a fountain though so i don't think your sims can actually fish or swim in it but i thought it looked really cool and i wanted to show it off but let's go ahead and go to the resort so we're over here now at the resort there's a nice pool area out here plenty of places to come and lounge at you even have your food stand over here so you can always come and get some food let's go ahead and scroll down i think we'll start over here in this section and we'll work our way around so let's go ahead and scroll all the way down all right so over here in this section this just appears to be the buffet room plenty of places to sit you have your buffet tables uh, it has the self-serving bar in here as well then over here in this section you have your bathrooms there's also a dumpster back out here and then you have your front desk area with some places to come and sit in the lobby so i think it looks really nice i do love the color scheme in here it also has a little water fountain behind it over here in this section this just appears to be a little walkthrough area there's also a fountain over here there's a little place to sit here and one to sit over here as well let's go ahead and keep moving on so so over here just appears to be the gym with some treadmills weight machines there's even a jacuzzi in here there's also a stereo so i think that's really nice and then over here in this section this appears to be oh okay i see so this appears to be a chapel so you can come and have your sons get married here you have your wedding arch plenty of places to come and sit down your stereo over here in the corner that's really nice and now let's go ahead and scroll upstairs real quick and check out the rooms so let's start on this side this time so over here you have three bedrooms so you have one here with a tv you have one over here with a tv and then you have one over here without a tv so this one just has single beds these are double beds there's a bathroom over here a bathroom in this bedroom so i think that's really cool over here's two bedrooms with couches at the foot of the bed and they have like tvs and stuff like that so no single beds over here in this section so over here on this side is just kind of like mirrored so it has the same exact layout and then you know you have the same exact layout over here as well with your two single beds so you have plenty of rooms if you want your sims to come and stay at this resort 
think it looks really really cool and then outside of the resort there's a, like a little playground or something back here so i think that's really cool you have a swing set little playhouse slide you have park benches over here where you can come and just chill and relax then of course that leads you out here to the beach as well so over here you have your self-serving bar let's go ahead and scroll down real quick yeah so you have your self-serving bar over here your lifeguard stand you have plenty of places for your sims to come and lounge at there's even a nice pier out here that your sims can come to and just chill and relax and just you know take in the nice view there's also like another port area over here that we'll check out in a bit but let's go ahead and keep scrolling this way though so over here is more more ocean and more beach and then over here you have more places to come and lounge at the weather stone spot in my game here you have another lifeguard stand and then under here you have your fire pit where you can come and roast food and just you know eat and relax and stuff like that so i think that's really cool all right y'all so now let's go ahead and check out this lot so this is the welcome port so i'm guessing this is how sims get to the island they just get off the boat here i guess so let's check it out real quick all right y'all so we're down here at the welcome port i see some rowboats over here you have a sailboat and a speedboat there is some park benches is under here underneath this little shelter and then you have this boat right here i guess this is like a little houseboat or whatever so let's go ahead and check it out real quick so when you open it up and come inside you you have your all-in-one bathroom here your bedroom there's a little sitting area right here your kitchen your kitchen table over here you have like a place where you can come and lounge out over here if you want to and then when you scroll up you have places where your sims can come and sit and you have the steering wheel up here so you can come and move the houseboat if you want to so i think that's really cool so i guess your sims get off at this little port and they can come and you know enjoy the world so i think that's really cool though but all right let's go ahead and check out this part over here so this is the lagoon port next and this was the east beach by the way if y'all was wondering what it was called and then over here is the west beach but let's go ahead and check out the lagoon port first all right y'all so we're down here at the lagoon port there is just of course a port over here you can dock a houseboat or dock something out here if you want it to you have a nice little beach area out here that you can come to and just fish or just play in the sand if you want to or, or just chill and hang out you can also add stuff down here if you want to all right y'all so next we're going to go ahead and check out some of the dive lots so let's go ahead and just check out the big one in the middle this is the blue hole and then we'll check out the the peak and then we'll also check out the canyon so let's go ahead and bring elliot over here to the blue hole all right y'all so i'm over here with elliot at the first diving lot let's go ahead and check this out real quick Ooh, this is kind of cool let's go ahead and pause for a second this is kind of nice down here though what i kind of like it so you have a little area over here with some coral and some reefs and stuff like that a lot of seaweed you have this little rock that looks like a cave right here i don't think your sims can actually go inside of it though but this is kind of cool i'm not really sure if there's any treasure or anything like that under here I'll probably add some stuff down here if you want it to though but i think it looks pretty cool and it does make for some really good screenshots so next let's go ahead and check out the other diving lot so this is the peak all right so over here at the peak the second diving lot so let's go ahead and check this out real quick Ooh, this is kind of cool i do want to point out beware because i seen i did see a shark swimming around so beware of that but under here is really nice though you have some more like seaweed and stuff like that some more coral reefs again i don't know if there's any treasure under here or not or if any treasure spawns in or anything like that but i think it still looks kind of nice that's like a little hermit crab under here as well so you could definitely have your sims come over here for a little tropical adventure i think it looks kind of cool though and it's a lot of space under here as well so that's also a plus but now let's go ahead and check out the final dive lot this is the canyon so we'll check this out next all right y'all so we're down here at the canyon let's go ahead and check this out next Ooh, this is kind of cool oh okay Elliot, keep going down then all right all right y'all so we're down here at the canyon and we're definitely in a canyon it's not super big or anything like that but still kind of nice i see a little octopus over here i see uh, i think that's also a shark so be careful when you come here there is a little cave in here that your sims can come and explore so why don't we just go ahead and have elliot do that but again i don't know if there's any treasure or anything like that under here not really for sure not really seeing any but i could be wrong but i still kind of wanted to show off the dive lot just because i know some of y'all have asked me to do that in the past so i was like let me go ahead and do it now so let's just have elliot go through the little hole and see where he ends up so what did you end up at elliot oh he ended up at the beach. Okay. And he's just splashing around now. You know what? Live your life, Elliot. <laughs> Live your life. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this video. Again, this world is called Suva Diva. Hopefully, I pronounced that right. And it is, again, like a tropical resort type of world. And I think it looks really, really cool. Again, it's not super big. And it runs really smoothly for me. But again, the world is unpopulated. And this is a brand new save file. So always take that into consideration when you download a new world. But I would definitely say check it out. And maybe if you have to, maybe lower your settings down. I mean, it has dive lots. It has plenty of picturesque places. And there's a lot of stuff to do. So uh, definitely say check it out. But anyway, y'all, that is all that I have for this one and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Thanks for watching.